Hey, Jack. Yeah. Explain to me what this is again. So this is one of the largest collections of harmonicas in America. Uh, and this gentleman has turned his house into basically a museum. This is so weird, Jack. Just say, yeah, OK. Yeah, OK. All the houses here are really cute. You're really cute. How do you feel about going to people's houses you just met on the internet? I don't like it, Jack. You've changed, Cal. Holland? Hello, yes. Come right in, sir. Thanks for having us, Holland. Oh, hello. You're quite welcome. Would you like to go? Yes, sure. please. Sure. Have a look at this. Be prepared. Oh, wow. wow. How many do you have? About 6,500. Wow. <laughs> I have them from China and England and Poland, Russia, uh, France. Every drawer is full of harmonicas. You've got an incredible collection. I've got a lot of money wrapped up here. <laughs> I don't know how it happened. It just happened. So, so where does the harmonica originate? Hard to say. <laughs> There's a number of theories on it, and it appears that the original harmonica was about 3,000 years ago. The Chinese made an instrument called a, a sheng. And they made those, and then in, in the early 1800s, they migrated into, into Western Europe and all. Wow. wow. I can bore you and go on forever. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite one? This one, probably. Oh, the, the boat is? Yeah. How yeah. much is the uh, the boat worth? A couple grand. Oh, wow. Yeah, these are all World War I. Wow. She's so what? Boomerang harmonica? Yeah, we've got boomerangs for Australia. Oh, yeah. That's oh, wow. fun. Is that a toothbrush that's a harmonica? Yes. That's awesome. Be honest, is that what you use for your toothbrush? It is. <laughs> this would be a cane, you know, going along and it's got a harmonica in it. Oh, yeah. It's funny all like the, the individual like ingenuity that went into some of these. It's so nice to sit down and go, oh no, I want to make a walking stick with a harmonica. Yeah. Here. That was made in 1917. It's a postcard and it has a harmonica in it. Oh wow, there's a harmonica in the postcard. Yes, still plays. That's unbelievable. Yeah. I guess you want to see the naked lady. What? Yeah, we do. Look through there to see the naked lady in there. Oh wow. Come on, Jack, let's go. <laughs> yeah, wow. Check this out, huh? You're gonna love this. That's so cool that the harmonica case is a coffin. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's really cool. Here's a golden ticket that didn't bring me anything. What happens if you win it on the gold ticket? You... you turn up at someone's house to look at their harmonica collection. <laughs> Could you sign this one for me, Art? Yeah, sure. I'd love to thank you for your time and. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. This is awesome. It's amazing. It really was incredible. Pretty cool. Even if you don't like harmonicas, Seeing that guy's passion for harmonicas Look, makes you I like know, it. I, you can find anybody collecting anything that you go, a bottle tops, <laughs> bars of soap, all kinds of stuff, because everything has a history. Mm -hmm. Thing is, though, I feel absolutely I filthy dirty. I'm right there with you. You go into people's houses and you touch this. And... You put your mouth on everything. Oh, yeah, harmonica. Can you imagine what dentists was going to do, or gynecologists? Dad, I think that dentists have it far worse than gynecologists. What about a proctologist? That's the worst. Oh, no, no, no. Suddenly, so wake up one morning and thought, I know what I'm going to be a doctor, but I want to work on assholes. <laughs> Must be some fascination in it, but. <laughs> so tomorrow, Dad, Yeah. we're going to stop at this place called Moto Exotica, where they have, like, all different kinds of cars. Well, they have sell. Huh? Ozzy and Jack's World Detour, all new Sundays, 9 Eastern, 8 Central, on Access TV.